Now today we're continuing our study on the Apostle Paul in his third missionary journey, and we're dealing with what made Paul's ministry so powerful, so effective. Well, one of those reasons was the miraculous ministry that took place in Paul's uh, ministry in Ephesus. In fact, as soon as Paul got to Ephesus on his third missionary journey, signs, wonders, miracles start taking place. And eventually, revival broke out in Ephesus and broke a demonic stronghold that had been over Ephesus for centuries. But one of the reasons was because Paul flowed in the miraculous of the Holy Spirit. Well, I told you, as soon as he got there to Ephesus, miracles started happening. Let me read to you about that in Acts, in Acts chapter 19, verses 1 through 6. Paul took to the road through the interior and arrived at Ephesus. There he found some disciples and asked them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? They answered, No. We have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. Paul asked, Then what baptism did you receive? John's baptism, they replied. Paul said John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told people to believe in the one coming after him, that is, in Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. When Paul placed his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. So from the very beginning of Paul's ministry in Ephesus on his third missionary journey, God begins to operate with signs, wonders, and miracles. He, uh, Paul uh, meets some disciples of John, and he finds that they haven't really heard about Jesus in a clear way, and so he leads them to repentance and uh, faith in Jesus. And then he baptizes them in the name of Jesus. And then he places his hands on them. And what happens? They get baptized in the Holy Spirit with speaking in tongues and prophesying. So there you have it. From the very beginning of his ministry in Ephesus, miracles are taking place. But this continued on. You see, Paul stayed in Ephesus for three years, and, and uh, while he is in Ephesus, he is also working a secular job, making tents, providing for his own needs and also the needs of those who are working with him in the ministry. And as a tent maker, um, he would have these uh, handkerchiefs, these sweat rags that he'd wipe his sweat from. And, and these handkerchiefs and even his work apron would be taken to people that were sick or demon-possessed, and they would literally be healed by just touching these handkerchiefs. They would be delivered from these demons just by touching these uh, handkerchiefs and work aprons. We read about it in Acts chapter 19, verses 11 and 12. God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Now, don't you know that word of this got around the entire city of Ephesus and people were amazed? So much so, some people thought that Paul was just operating in witchcraft. Listen to this. People began to speak in the name of Jesus without having a relationship with Jesus, thinking that they could use the name of Jesus like an incantation. And listen to what happened. Acts chapter 19, verses 13 through 16 tells us, Some Jews who, had, uh, who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus. That means that they were using it like an incantation over those who were demon-possessed. They would say, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Well, seven sons of Sceva, Jewish chief priests, were doing this. One day the evil spirit answered them, Jesus I know, and Paul I know about, but who are you? Then the man who had the evil spirit jumped on them and overpowered them. He gave them such a beating that they ran out of the house naked and bleeding. Wow, people got wind of this and they understood now that Paul wasn't involved in witchcraft. Oh no, he had a relationship with God himself. His name is Jesus. And that put the fear of God in them and caused them even more to put their faith in Jesus.